Welcome back guys. So today I want to talk about design and more specifically the angles of design. And what I mean by this is how do you design something that is not a traditional, you know, right angle. When you're doing a right angle, it's always 90 degrees. But what if you don't like a corner like that, a butted corner, and you want to miter it? That's still 90 degrees. But what's this angle here? This is a common one, and it's 45. And where I'm going with this is a project that I'm going to be undertaking, actually, right as soon as this video uploads. I want to make a mug. And mugs are circular. But when you're working with wood, a lot of times you have to worry about a lineal lineal piece. It's very hard to get a curved piece. So there's different ways to approximate this. And the way I want to go about it is by making an octagon. I apologize for my poor uh, octagonal drawing. And when I do this, I want the corners all to have this clever little miter. So I need to first figure out what this degree is, and then I need to figure out what this degree is. So let me draw this for you a little bit bigger so we can figure this out. So this is a quarter of an octagon, roughly. This here is still 90 degrees. Which means this here, since this is half of 90, this degree here has to be 45 degrees. So when you're looking at a piece of wood, eh, it's not even close to 45, but all right, so let's say this is 45. That angle has to be half of 45, which is 22 and a half. Now comes the question of getting it cut in a table saw. With a table saw, you have the bed, you have the blade, and then you have the fence. This table saw can go from 90 all the way over to 45. But if you recall, neither of those is what we're looking for. So how do we approach this? The easiest way is on the table saw. Instead of having the wood like that, and you're trying to cut a degree here, that's not going to work. You want to instead have the wood like this. And that way you can cut the degree on it. So I have a little challenge for you guys. I want to do another piece of leather work. And there's only four of you who don't know. This is going to be kind of a fan video. For someone who got me through a lot of rough patches in my life. Uh, and helped me get into YouTube. Well, not he didn't really help me directly. He, he kind of gave me courage throughout the, uh, throughout the whole process. Uh, seeing his story and seeing all the troubles and, and pitfalls he fall, he went through, it gave me the courage that, you know, if he can do it, I'm, I'm sure I can try and muddle through it and I might even be able to make something of myself. So, for this fan vid, uh, before the next one comes out, because the answer will be in the next one, who do you think this is going to be for? And the answer, well, obviously the answer will be in the next video, but... I haven't talked about the handle yet. Now the handle now this is an awful drawing. I want it to be of a whale. So if you guys can guess who I'm gonna ma be making this for uh, before next week's video comes out I will send you a little piece of leather with my maker's mark engraved on one side 
and stamped on the other, or not engraved, but like tooled into one side, stamped on the other. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll just be a fun little competition. So leave your uh, answers in the comment section below. And I'm going to go start making this over at my parents' house on their table saw because I don't really have one that works right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. And for those of you who are new, I release a new video every Monday and Friday. I know today's late, but I do try to shoot for between 2 and 5 Eastern Standard Time. And there are a few of those... There are a few of you who are super fans, and if you really do enjoy my work and you really do want to support me, the best way to do that is over at my Patreon. I, wow, I botched that. Uh, I do offer plans between, plans, subscriptions, from one to, I think, $50 a month. If you can, I'd really help it. I'd really appreciate even a dollar. Uh, because with this whole ad apocalypse thing, it's killing me. So, you know, that would really be helpful, guys. Otherwise, thanks for watching. This has been a fantastic episode of Design, because I haven't screwed anything up yet. I'm sure to do that later, uh, tonight, at some point. Maybe lose a finger. Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you for helping me make a better world, one curve at a time. See you later.